My name's Alexa Neal. Uh, I'm a student at Sussex and I used mass observation for the first time as a student here in a uh, core course for my uh, masters. The mass observation archive was introduced to us as a potential source for essays um, and assignments that we were doing. So we could use it for social history, 20th century social history, and um, several of my colleagues decided that it would be a really good idea to exploit the resource for group projects. Mass observation sources are, um, are people's voices. They are individuals speaking and writing about issues that are important to them. Um, and so you get a much better idea of um, who people are and what they have to say personally. I think that it will be really interesting to see how the digital format of observing the 80s changes the way that people can access the material and the ways that they use it. It will be interesting to see if people just capture individual responses or if they use the British Library Oral Histories and the ephemera to enrich what they're reading. It will allow people anywhere to enjoy um, the mass observation materials and also to put them in their wider context. <laughs>